How does a jig machine work? The selected ore is continuously fed to the screen plate of the jig chamber to form a thick material layer. Rising water is periodically pumped through the sieve plate to loosen the bed, and then the water flows down, or stops rising. During this process, particles with different densities undergo relative transfer, with heavy minerals entering the lower layer and light minerals entering the upper layer. After being discharged respectively, concentrate and tailings are obtained. What are the main factors that affect the working principle of the jig machine? 1. Feeding. Homogenizing the selected raw materials is an important condition to ensure the stability of the jigging system, reduce equipment overload or underload, and improve sorting efficiency. 2. Frequency and amplitude. The amplitude of the pulsating water flow determines the height and looseness of the bed during the rise, and the frequency determines the time spent in a jig cycle. 3. Air volume and water volume. Air volume can change the amplitude of the pulsating water flow, thereby adjusting the looseness of the bed and the suction force through the screen. The jig uses water to push water and flush water. The function of flushing water is to moisten the feed and transport the sorted materials. The flushing water volume is about 20% to 30% of the total water volume. The function of the top water is to supplement the water volume under the screen, thereby enhancing the rising water flow and weakening the falling water flow. 4. Air Valve Period The air valve period characteristics determine the pulsating water flow characteristics. 5. Bed State The movement state of the bed determines the effect of stratification of mineral particles according to density. 6. Product Discharge Materials stratified according to density should be discharged from the jig in a timely, continuous and reasonable manner.